Hi, in this video I'm going to be solving an example on partial derivatives with uh, constrained variables. So here we have this um, equation w is equal to 2x squared plus 3y squared plus z squared z is equal to x squared plus 2y squared and we want to find dw or the partial derivative of w with respect to y keeping z a constant. So th that's what the notation means. Uh, we're finding the partial derivative with respect to y and we're keeping z as a constant. So first thing is um, just ignore the fact that z is a constant for now and uh, think of it as a regular partial derivatives uh, example. So we have w is a function of x, y, and z. Right, so we figured this out from this equation over here. And using this equation, we can see that uh, if you change the value of x, uh, or if you change the value of y, the value of z is going to change. Right, and if you change the value of z and the value of y, the value of x is going to change. So the value of x depends on the value of z and the value of y. The value of y depends on z and x, z depends also on x and y, because if you change any of these variables, the um, other variables are going to change, right? Okay, so if we want to find dw by dy, this is equal to saying that's dw by dx times dx dy plus dw dy plus dw dz times dz dy, right? Okay, now we know now that z is kept a constant, so the rate of change of z is zero. So the effect of uh, changing z on w is going to be zero because z is a constant. And uh, if we change the value of y, z is not going to change again because z is kept as a constant. So this whole thing goes to zero. We can find dw dx from the first equation, let's call this equation 1. So this is equal to 4x. So we got this. Um, we can find the value of dw dy. This is equal to 6y. Again, this is from equation 1. So we found this as well. Now we need to find the value of dx dy. How does uh, x change as we change the value of y? So taking this equation, let's call it equation 2. Let's stick it here on the side. We know that z is equal to x squared plus 2y squared. z is a constant. Okay, so let's differentiate this whole thing uh, by y. So dz dy is equal to 2x times dx dy, again this is using the chain rule, plus 4y. And we know that z is a constant, therefore the rate of change of z is equal to 0. Therefore we know that um, 2x dx dy is equal to negative 4y, therefore dx dy is equal to um, negative 4y over 2x, which is equal to negative 2y over x. So we found that um, dx dy is equal to negative 2y over x. So now we can solve um, uh, dw dy is equal to dw dx, which we found to be 4x, times dx dy, which we found to be negative 2y times x. Plus dw dy, and we found dw dy to be 6y. So let's simplify this. This is keeping z as a constant. So this is going to be the axis cancel. So you get a negative 8y plus 6y 
and you get negative 2y as your final answer. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Good luck.